Alright, it's time now for another edition of Family Feud Fridays. Hopefully you've all had a pretty good week. And this is the last episode of this series for the month of August. If you can believe that. what happens today, shall we? It's almost time for the weekend. Get a head start on it with Family Feud. How are you doing at home? I'm Lucky McCoy. Thanks so much for coming here to the Feud. Let's get things started by meeting our feuding families. Taking this game on solo. Please welcome this band of players, the Lee family. Our two families will compete head to head, trying to guess how the American population have answered our surveys. The family who does the best goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win $20,000. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. Hope you've got your game faces on, because it's time for a face-off. Who's playing? Let me see you up front. We're looking for seven answers. Top seven answers on the board for this first round. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We took a survey. 100 people. Apart from their clothes, name something a cop might be wearing. You're in first. Badge. Okay. Could it be there? Badge. One answer beats That's it. That's correct with a capital K, which means it's there. But there's still a better one. Your guess, buddy. Apart from their clothes, name something a cop might be wearing. Walkie-talkie. Ah, uh, yes. Did our survey say it? Walkie-talkie. Not fair. Nada. You won the face-off, so tell me, play or pass? You want this round all to yourself, huh? We need another answer from you. Here we go, then. Time to find out if it's up there. Hat. Hat's number three. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. Yes. What do you think? We need another answer. Uh... Um, I would say a belt. Yeah. Understood. Show me that answer. 
That's the number one answer. Apart from their clothes, name something a cop might be wearing. Handcuffs? Feeling lucky? Let's see if you're right. Handcuffs. That's number four. It's on the board. Oh, yeah. Do you have an answer for us? Yeah. up there that's pretty good lifeline to the other family if you want to steal this round you need to find me a missing answer apart from their clothes name something a cop might be wearing sunglasses nice our survey said sunglasses and they Stole it. Got it. Stole the round. You win this round. Let's check out the missed answers. What's behind number seven? Boots. And the sixth most popular answer? Smile. Smile. Shall we take a look at the scores? The first points of the game are on the scoreboard. Now, let's do the face-off. I need a contestant from each family, please. looking for five answers here. Stand by your buzzers. Here we go. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Sometimes Christmas in California is so hot, you can see Santa Claus wearing nothing but a what? Think you got something? Beats it. The right answer, but it's not at the top. What will you go for? Sometimes Christmas in California is so hot, you can see Santa Claus wearing nothing but a what? Yeah. 
pair of sandals. All right. I want to see that answer. Pair of sandals. It's at the bottom. I gave it a good try, but it doesn't beat the answer already there. Is it your time to play or pass? You want to step up to the plate again? All right, then. Dig deep and think of an answer. A pair of shorts. Sure thing. Is that answer up there? Pair of shorts. Number one. Guess what? We need an answer. Pair of boxers, maybe? Okay, then. Is that one of the remaining answers? Pair of boxers! You almost cleared the board. Oh, God. Sometimes Christmas in California is so hot, you can see Santa Claus wearing nothing but a what? It's worth a shot. Will this make a clean sweep? Let's find out. Pair of boots. Nope. That's going to put a dent in your game. Uh oh. There's only one answer remaining. Right. Oh, okay. Is that the last answer on the board? Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Aww. Only one more answer left to find up there. Okay. Tank top. I see where you're going with this. And is that the answer we need? No. Ouch. Third strike. The other team is in with a chance. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. Sometimes Christmas in California is so hot, you can see Santa Claus wearing nothing but a what? Beard. Yep. Survey said. I was thinking about that. But, no steal. definitely ain't go with it. Our winning family! There was only one answer you couldn't find. And it was... And number four, please. Smile. Smile! It's time to check out the current scores. With two rounds... And I have a three-point lead. Looking tight. 93 to 90. Here we go, round three. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I need two players down in front. We've got five to find. Top five again. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name something of yours that might get cut off. You're up. Hair. Good answer. Yes. Let's check the board and see if it made it. 
Number one answer. Answer number one. So, what are you going to do here? Play or pass? You going to play again? Okay. Uh, credit card. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Uh -huh. Her credit, yeah. That's what you're going with? Let's run with it. Credit! Alright, it's up there. Yeah! Got another answer? Um, internet? Got it. What did our survey say? Internet. No! Okay. It's not up there. So this is your first strike. What answer do you have for us this time? Alright, right, let's try it. Is it up there? Let's hope so. Phone! Phone is up there. Yay! Time to search your mind for an answer. Uh, television. Nope. Alright, uh, how about electricity? Alrighty then. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Electricity. Nope. I've got another strike on the board. That was a good answer, too. So. I need an answer from you. Water? Yes. Got it. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Water. No. Oh, no. That's strike three. There's an opportunity to steal here. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. Nails. We have an answer. Let's see if that's a good answer. Nails. Nails was you there. That was number two. round goes to you. Let's take a look at that one remaining answer. I can't even think what it could be. Answer number five. What are you? Conversation. Here's how things are shaping up so far. Our families have... All right, computer families at 244. I have 93, so I need to win this next round in order to stay alive. See what happens. Are you ready for a face-off? Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. We've got seven answers this time. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We asked 100 people. Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer. Fast fingers, my friend. Uh, Feeling confident? I think, oh. Uh, okay, I ran in before the question was ready to fold, but I'll say Prancer. Are you sure about that? And what did our survey say? Prancer! You found the number one answer. Alright, there's seven answers, and there's nine reindeer, including Rudolph, so... And they're playing again. I, so I'm pretty sure I've got this. Let's hope you haven't learned Might use as a stage name. Okay. Dasher. Answer accepted. Let's see if it's there. 
Dasher. Yep. All right. Way to go, kiddo. Uh, dancer. We need another answer from you. Said with confidence. Did any of our 100 people say it? Dancer. Number four. Good going. Oh. What do you think? We need another answer. Vixen. That's your answer. Let's see if it's up there. Well done. Uh, Ooh. Comet. Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer a dancer might use as a stage name. Yeah. Interesting answer. Is it up there? Comet. All right, that's at the bottom. Uh, Cupid. All right, you're doing well. There's only two answers left. Okay. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Cupid. All right. You're doing great. So now for this last one, it's one of two. Do you or one of three. Surprise? Possibly if you include Rudolph. Uh, I'll try Donner first. Okie dokie. Did our survey agree? Donner. No. Uh oh, it's not there. And that All right, it's probably the other one sorry. then. Blitzen. Tell me the name of one of Santa's reindeer a dancer might use as a stage name. Good. Okay. Do we have it? Let's yep, that's a sweep. It's a clean sweep. And I've also won the game. This is what a winning family looks like. And we finally run out of rounds. So, what are the final scores? We have a winning family! Yeah, once I... Yeah. Some the question mentioned something about Santa's ring here, I'm like, okay, I've got this. But unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, once I got that number one, I'm like, yeah, yeah I've got it. Alright, fast money time! I know, let's play fast money! Since you don't have any teammates, you'll be playing Fast Money twice. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score 200 points altogether, you'll win the jackpot. Ready? Let's start the clock. Name a place where you just want to be left alone. Uh, bedroom. No. Pass. Name something that might be referred to as a dead end. Um. Name a U.S. city you'd hate um. to be in during a major blackout. New York. Name something you get struck by. Lightning. Name an animal whose sole purpose is to eat and breathe. Name a place where you just want to be left alone. Home. Yeah, house. I don't Name know. an animal 
whose sole purpose is to eat and breathe. That's of course. All five. Okay, it's time to do it all again. You need to answer the questions again, but this time make sure you say something you haven't said already. Let's start the clock. Name a place where you just want to be left alone. Um. Name something that might be referred to as a dead end. city you'd hate to be in during a major blackout. Name something you get struck by. Thunder? We already have oh, alright, that counts as lightning. Okay. Um. Kale. And more feuding and more surveys. Later, folks.